Hi Scalers, on this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about using Boolean searches to build the perfect prospect list on LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Boolean searches are used typically on search engines to either narrow down or broaden a search using operators such as AND, OR, NOT, as well as punctuation such as quotes and brackets. This is super helpful to make sure that you find exactly who you want, but also to search for leads that you may not have thought about. And if you're wondering whether to say Boolean or Boolean, let us ask Siri. Boolean. There are two sections on LinkedIn Sales Navigator where you can use Boolean search operators. The first one is on the current job title filter here. This is gonna enable you to really dig deeper into your prospect's job titles. And the second one is on the search keyword section here that covers everything that's written on an individual's LinkedIn profile, whether that's on their headline, their about section, their job title, job title description, and many more. So if you use it to your advantage, you can really make a big difference. So let's start with using quotes, which is one of the most obvious operators to use, and it's going to help us to find exact matches or exact expressions, whether that's on the job title section or the keyword section. I'm going to show you a real-time example. So if I typed head of finance, I can see that here LinkedIn has already suggested me another type of bucket, but I'm just going to type head of finance, press enter, and I see that I have 110,000 results. Let me just scroll down to check all of them. Good. If I do Command F and tap Head of Finance, it's going to highlight everywhere where I have actually Head of Finance. You can see there are other types of people. So this one is Head of uh, head Business Finance Operations. This one is Head of Division, Group Finance and HR Solutions. So not specifically Head of Finance, it's just a combination of multiple keywords, including Head of and Finance. If I scroll down, you can see not many have been highlighted. Now this changes to the bucket that was suggested just before, to Head of Finance. I'm going to click to include, and I can see that I have now 100,000 results instead of 110,000. So it's already a bit more narrowed down. So let me do the same. Just scroll down to load it all. Good. I'm going to type head of finance again. We went from 7 to 14. So that's already two times more. Here we go. Head of finance. I can see regional finance head. Okay, this one is head of structuring. Um, executive Director of Finance, Head, FP&A, Treasury. So it can give me some ideas of other titles to use, but if I'm looking specifically for just Head of Finance, exactly written as this, this is not getting me closer to my goal. So now using quotes, I'm going to tell LinkedIn, oop, Head of, not LinkedIn, but Finance. I'm going to tell LinkedIn, I want this exact phrase to appear in the people's job title. So if I type this, Okay, press enter. We went now from 100,000 to 72,000 results. And as a result, you'll see on my page here, everyone has precisely head of finance written in their job title without any other phrases. Let me check. Yes, perfect. Everybody has head of finance. So using quotes will help us get into exact searches. This is particularly helpful if you know precisely who you're going to be targeting and exclude those that you don't want to have in your searches. You can use that in the keyword section as well for specific keywords you're searching or anything else. Now let's move on to the other example. Using NOT as a Boolean search operator is going to allow us to exclude keywords from our searches. And the best way to check it out is to look at an example. So here I've already made a search for chief executive officers in companies between one to 10 employees that are based in Miami, Florida. So it tells me I have 2,500 results. The thing is in CEOs or chief executive officers, I may have people who also have as a title assistant to the chief executive officer or chief executive officer PA and so on. So if I want to exclude them here, I can go back to the job title filter part and type in chief executive officer and I type not in capital and assistant. So you go, I'm just going to copy it because I don't want to lose it. I'm going to remove this. So we had 2,500 results earlier. And now if I press enter, it trimmed down from 2,500 results to 2,000 results because it has removed everyone who was assistant in their job titles. This is super helpful to remove anyone that you don't want necessarily to have. It could be interns, it could be consultants, freelancers, or else. And if you want to add multiple exclusions, you can simply type the same and add, for instance, not freelancer, and then add again, not consultant, and so on. So 
So you can add as many as you want. Just make sure every time to use capital letters, otherwise you will think that it is just part of the title. But when you use capital letters, it registers that you actually mean this is a Boolean search that should exclude the specific keyword. Let's go to the next example now. Using OR can be super helpful to find at least one keyword or expression within our search. And the best way to understand this is to look at an example. So if I go back to the search filter here and I type, for instance, with quotes, CEO or founder or managing director. Okay, this is basically telling Sales Navigator, I want to search any combination of those keywords. So CEO and founder, CEO and managing director, or anyone alone. So founder alone or CEO alone, managing director alone. As you can see here, I have managing director, CEO and co-founder. I have founder, managing director, a few other ones. You have probably noticed that this one does not have either founder or CEO or managing director. This is because if I click on the profile, I can see that the person has another current role that is co-founder. Um, very recent role here, two months ago, does not include the title, but it's the one that is displayed right now. So this is a very good tip to keep in mind. Sometimes Sales Navigator will make appear some of the prospects that don't necessarily look like they're part of your uh, search criteria, but that's sometimes because they have a current role that actually fits your current search. So getting back at this search, you may also be looking at individuals who are working in a specific industry or uh, function that has several spellings. So for instance, here yeah, I'll take the example of crypto and I want to search for crypto. So this will be CEOs or founders or managing directors working in crypto. I'll just tap enter. I have 41,000 results, but crypto can also be spelled cryptocurrency. And this is gonna again search in an individual's entire profile to look for these keywords. So you see, I moved from 41,000 to 62,000 just because I made a combination. And you can think about this. It could be, for example, e-commerce. It could be like e-com uh, or e-commerce entirely, e-space commerce, and so on. Think about all the spellings that uh, work for your industry or your job titles as well and include them. Or is typically a Boolean search that broadens your search results rather than narrow them down. So if you use it to your advantage, it can really help you find even more leads that you may not have thought about initially. Let's move on to the next example now. You can use N to look for a combination of keywords or expressions, just as this example here. If I typed sales and marketing, this is basically telling LinkedIn Sales Navigator, I want to search for people who have sales as well as marketing in their job titles. So let me type enter. And you'll see this is any combination of sales and marketing. So senior sales marketing consultant, chief revenue and marketing uh, officer. I have here vice president sales marketing. I have this person here is like co-working in marketing and sales and quite a few more. So here the person has marketing here, but has sales uh, later on in their title. So it's any combination of sales and marketing. And you can think about this for any types. You can also use this in the keyword section to combine any expression or any keyword that matters to you. It could be, for instance, sales and growth or revenue and marketing, performance and marketing, and many more. This is not only for sales and marketing, obviously. It can be accounting and finance or uh, accounting and FP&A and so on. Using brackets is where Boolean searches start to get really interesting because you combine your operators and or not. Look at this example, for instance. I have between brackets head or VP and another bracket, IT or product. This is basically like a formula that tells LinkedIn Sales Navigator or any search platform that you're using that I want to combine head and IT and, and product, as you can see here, head IT, head product, or VP and IT, VP, product. So this is a combination of four job titles. Best way to look at it is to just copy it and add it to Sales Navigator. And look at the titles that I have here. I have head of IT, head of IT, VP information technology. So it has translated IT into information technology, vice president information technology. So it also translated VP into vice president, head of IT. I can scroll down, just go pretty low, head of information technology. I can even look at the page five, for example, see if the operator's function as well, vice president IT, head of IT, head IT project. So as you can see, using the brackets has allowed me to combine several titles with several functions. And so my advice to structure your brackets is to start this way. First bracket should always be titles and second bracket should be functions. Next, you use the not to add the exclusions in another bracket. Here's an example below. I have put head 
or VP or director. So these are the titles. And I combine it with the functions, IT or software or product. It can be anything else. It could be sales, it could be marketing, um, whatever you want to add, not and adding the exclusion. So here, for example, is not systems or security or assistant or intern and so on. You can add as many operators as you want, but make sure that you put them into brackets with titles, functions, and exclusions. This is my personal tip. You can copy this, go back to Sales Navigator, okay, paste it in, and look at what we have. So VP, head of IT, VP IT, vice president IT. I can scroll down just to make sure I have everybody, director IT as well, okay, great, PMO, Quite a few variations. Let me look at the last page. Head of group IT, CIO as well here, VP IT. Okay, head of IT, senior director, super helpful. So using those brackets and combining them with the multiple operators that I have and or not can really help me find exactly who I want and make specific formulas. Now I wanna show you some of my pro tips to use Boolean searches on LinkedIn Sales Navigator so you can really be a rock star with them. Let's go. Hey, by the way, if you're enjoying this video at the moment, please hit the like and subscribe button to stay in touch for future videos that we'll be posting about lead generation in general or Sales Navigator specifically as well. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue the video now. Now, one of the major mistakes I see when people use Boolean operators is to type the operator in small caps instead of all caps. Let me show you an example. So if I typed here sales not intern, with the intent, of course, to finding salespeople who are not interns, if I type enter, you can see I find mostly interns. Intern here, intern here, sales interns, sales associate, okay, summer intern, and so on. This is not what I wanted. I wanted sales people who are not interns. So if I type sales not intern, all caps, what I find here, sales representative, head of sales, sales, no interns found on this list. This is super helpful and very important to keep in mind because otherwise you just mess up with your search. Another one I find particularly important that people tend to forget is to actually type their searches on a sheet of paper, Google Doc, Word document, whatever that is, just to make sure that they don't lose the search. Sometimes you'll write very long sentences with multiple brackets and multiple operators, and you don't want to lose them. Showing you the example here, if I typed, okay, this, I lost it, I don't have it anymore. So if I paste this, let us imagine I've just typed this, oops, I just lost it, I have to type it again. Nothing more frustrating than this, so Keep in mind to always write them down and you can just copy paste them. And it's even more helpful because if I want to compare them, let's imagine I want to do this, but I also want to remove this title here. So head or VP, no directors. I can compare both searches and see what fits best to my research. My last tip, and this is something that you should look into every time you do a search, is to look into the people's job titles. If you cannot find the title that you search for, even using Boolean searches, make sure that you click on the profile just to look at their other titles, whether they have another current role that fits your criteria. Right now here we have CEO, Founder, Managing Director. The first title that appears says Director Skills Innovation and Productivity Center. So none of those keywords. But when I clicked on the profile, I can see that they still have a current role uh, that says Co-Founder. This may be because they either have two jobs at the same time, they're an investor somewhere, or they have evolved within the same company. Uh, with a new role. And sometimes LinkedIn will combine those roles as well. And so that's it. Make sure you have this in mind and you can really rock at Boolean searches. And once you're satisfied with your Boolean searches, you may want to export them into a CSV or Excel that includes also their professional emails and phone numbers. For this, I am using an extension called scalelist.com so that allows me to have this button here saying export leads. Basically, if I click on it, it will export an entire search up to 2,500 uh, results, just because this is what LinkedIn displays. Uh, and it'll search for their uh, email addresses, phone numbers, it will capture their first names, last name, company names, uh, the domain, the location, and many more information that I need, including their LinkedIn URLs. Uh, simply go to scalelist.com. You can try uh, for free. Uh, it's going to allow you to export uh, leads and find some of their emails as well as phone numbers. I've left a link on the description of this video that includes an entire run through of how the extension works. But basically, if I click on export leads, it will start exporting the, the leads onto my dashboard, searching for all of them. And I can show you here an example on my account. So I have this list here that I had done previously where I exported 108 leads. It found a total of 86 emails, so 53 were deemed as valid and 33 risky. Valid emails are emails that are safe to use. Risky emails are unverifiable, so you never charge email credits for this. Only valid emails consume credits. And then 
As a secondary step, once the list has been exported, you can then decide whether you want to search for phones. So you click on search phones here and you can select whether you want to search phones for all of your leads, just the emails that were not found, and leads who had risky emails or valid emails. I did the list for all of them and I got 51 numbers, so approximately 50% of my entire search. Now over to you from here, happy Boolean searching and happy scaling.